Hey, it's Dawn here with Didi Creates Crafts. Welcome to my stamping studio. Today, I have a live for you. We are gonna make a fun fold. We are not folding laundry. Put that laundry down. We're gonna make a fun fold. So I can't wait to show this to you. Let me open it up and watch. Ta-da! Isn't that the cutest? So a little note card slides inside its own pocket. This is all one piece, this piece. So I've got all kinds of tricks and techniques for you and just a fun, fun fold. And these are just two samples, one Christmas, one for a man, and then we're gonna make a birthday card together. So welcome, welcome. I'm gonna turn you down so you can watch what I do. The measurements are in the description. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and definitely, definitely remember to subscribe here we go all right I'm gonna make sure you can see okay so here is an eight and a half by eleven so this is our base what I'm calling a base this is not the foldy part this is the base part so we are gonna cut the base at five and a half which we're used to so watch when we cut the five and a half, you can put this aside and it's gonna be good for another regular A2 card when you fold it. So now we've done our five and a half, let's turn it on the long side and cut at four and one quarter. And you know what that does? It gives you two bases to make two of these cards. So we have just made three bases for three different cards off one piece of cardstock. So I'm gonna use this piece and put it right there. This is a pretty, pretty piece of print paper. The back side's black and white. How fun is that? So this piece, we are gonna cut at five and a quarter, not five and a half, five and a quarter. And you're gonna see, because we wanna leave a little bit of a margin of a framed effect with our card. So we have this for another day, another dollar. We'll put that aside. And if we had black or white for the base, how gorgeous would that be? Beautiful. And I debated about coloring this with some blue, but I thought, oh my stars, that is just a little too detailed for my personal comfort zone. Now what we wanna do is turn the print paper longwise against your uh, trimmer or your scoring apparatus, appliance if you will, and we are gonna score at, let me open this up, four inches. So we're gonna score at four, and then we're gonna scoot it up and score again at eight. Whoopsie, there I go. I know, I like it very precise. I just do, and sometimes with fun folds, you have to be precise. I think I wanna go in, I'm gonna fold it in this direction, make this be my opening, because I'm gonna show you, I want my little half circles to be facing, almost like they're standing up, if you will, for when I close the card. It doesn't matter, that's just me being picky. So I'm gonna want this to fold, let me open one of my cards see what direction. I actually went in both directions, so it doesn't matter. Let me show you. I prefer this side, so my pocket's on this side, but when I cut the first one on this side, so I wanted you to see that, opposite corners, because if you cut your paper the wrong way, I wanted you to see it won't matter. It will not matter. You'll get a preference, and you'll see how to fold, so I'm going to see which way. I'm going to experiment. If I cut this way... Cut that off, and that will fold up. All right, I'm putting way too much thought in it. So I'm gonna line up the point right here of my paper, and then where's my little fold? There's my fold. So the fold line, which is hard to see, I'm gonna line it up on my edge where I'm gonna be scoring and put the other right down there. Trying to see. I can't decide with my cup. I might fold it. Let me just score and see if I'm gonna like that. So that'll be folded away and then that will fold up. All right, I think I'm gonna like it. I had to see. Sometimes it's good and we just have to do that, don't you think? 
I am, let me put a little mark there, you guys. Maybe I'll just flip it over. I'm having difficulty seeing my poor little baby fold line. So there's that one. And then I gotta come down here to my point. Let me bring that back over. This is easier to see. Not by much though, is it? All right, bear with me. I'm gonna do there and there. Okay, so that's my upper, and that is the way I like it, because I want to fold it up and have the pocket go in that way. So just play with it, and if I'd have cut it the wrong way, you saw from the first cards, we can literally use any side we want. So let me go ahead, get my little bone folder, and press my little creases here. This is going to be adhered down to the base, so it'll look like that when it's closed. But for now, let's just work on the fun part, the decorative part, you know, the fun part. Now to make my pocket, what I like to do, you can use glue, but you know, with a video and to be fast, I'm gonna use some tear and tape. And this is nice and strong as well. So go into very close to the edge without going over. But if I go over, guess what? We can just fold it in on top of itself. All right, rip that off. I do like to give it a little burnishing. And then pick this off. And then we're gonna close it. There we go. Now we just fold our triangle and that creates our pocket. So for the decorating, we do decorate on the top and I've cut in some strips. The sentiment, this is the strip for the sentiment. So I'm calling it a light color because you can see it's not white, it's not ivory, it's just light. And this is gonna be my, for my matting, let's call it matting. So there you go, it's gonna look like this and we're gonna hear it down. So for the light strip that I'm using for this sentiment, this is five and a quarter, so it's the same uh, width, if you will, as the fold card, and then it's one and a quarter. Then our matting strip, again, five and a quarter by one and a half. So it's just slightly, slightly, slightly bigger. So when we mat it, it's gonna be gorge. Beautious, beautiful, beautiful. You like it? All right. So then I've already, we'll glue that in a second, made us a little decoration, a little pup, and I, what you call it, die cut. I'm looking to see if I can find, I had another little thingy like this, but, oh, there it is, it's hiding. You remember how I will take, I've done this in almost every video so far, the last two or three, where you have a die cut. Well, I cut the second die cut and just the end of it. And then I just put a little layer of it peeking out the edges of the base layer or the top layer. And look how it just kind of frames it. So I'd like to do that right now is adhere this down. Now I am gonna use glue for this because glue doesn't dry quick and it's gonna give us literally, literally some wiggle room literal wiggle room. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to do it like that and adhere this down and I may have some, I have a little corner right there sticking out. So I'm going to come back with some scissors and just, I mean, I don't even know if you can see it right there sticking out. I'll just come back with some scissors and lob that off. Sounds prettier to say we could give it a haircut, doesn't it? little bit of glue and the wet adhesive glue say I've got it like that well that's wonky and that's not set up so the glue's not dry yet so I can manipulate the bottom layer and get it so it's kind of sort of even with that one and make sure it's looking good looking cute pull a little more out and I think I'm happy with that and now what I can do is come in, look, everything sticky is convenient, but then it sticks to your 
fingers and thumbs. Okay, so I just gave that little corner, a little bitty haircut. So now it doesn't show. I'm gonna lay it on the white so you can see it. Your, I was gonna call it a banner. The die cut is nicely, nicely framed, which is gonna add to our decoration and just add a little oomph and make it stand out a little more. I think I had another guy just to show you a for instance. Here's the dog with no matting pretend that's glued down in place. So he looks good, but look how it just pops when we add a little matting to it. So I wanted to share that trick with you. When you have dies, most of the dies you can just cut right in half. Look how crooked that looks, but it doesn't matter on this side, does it? You can cut right in half, and then this I cut more in half, obviously. Just glue the ends to the end and create your little banner or framing, if you will. Lovely, I like it. So I'm gonna put these aside, put this aside. And you know what we wanna do next? We wanna make the actual note card that goes inside. And again, I've got some layering and I went matchy matchy so it would match the outside just cause I'm a matchy matchy kind of girl. So again, this is a light uh, layer for sentiment. It's four and a half by three and a half. And then the darker one is four and five eighths by three and five eighths. Do not worry if you miss the measurements. They're already in the comment section, the measurements. And if you want a free PDF tutorial of this, please let me know. I would love to send it to you. Um, sign up for my mailing list, subscribe to this channel, and you got it. How do you subscribe to my mailing list? Just uh, let me know in the comment section or send me an email at dd, like Dawn Davis, dd, creates crafts at gmail.com and I will add you to my mailing list and I will send you the free tutorial for this card that way you'll have it in writing and you will also have it in this video which I am so visual I don't know if you are but having both really helps me because I really like to go step by step by step and it helps me not get ahead of myself. It helps me know the exact, um, make sure that goes, yep, the exact cuttings. And sometimes I will change up the order so it makes more sense for me. So I'm, I feel like if it makes more sense for me, it's gonna make more sense for you. Now this I'm gonna he adhere down flat as well because I am gonna pop up the dog. And this is gonna be a birthday card, so I think before I lay him down, let's do a little stamping of a fun sentiment, because we're gonna do the, the, a little stamp here and a bigger stamp here. So I have got Enjoy, and I wanna test it, you guys, and I wanna see how it looks color-wise. It's not too bad. It's not the exact matching color of my cardstock. Oh, low, and I went crooked, but oh well. It's a little, it's a different shade of blue, but it blends pretty good. Like this is misty moonlight, and that is night of navy, but it's not too bad. I, I, I'm starting to fall in love with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I fell in love, and use the same color versus black on the inside sentiment. Now you're gonna want this one, this sentiment in the corner, to, in the opposite direction, you guys, of your pocket. So let me show you two examples. With the Christmas card, I told you I went the opposite, I cut the wrong way of what I wanted, what I had originally intended. So I made sure the sentiment was either skinny so it could fit all the way across at the top or you can make it small and long so it fits on the opposite side. And let me show you this side. And this one says you're too kind. So this one, again, the sentiment's on the opposite side. This I made as a thank you note for my brother. I'm going to stay with him and his wife in a couple weeks and see their new home in Florida. And they have a golf cart that's new to them. So this fun masculine paper on the back had a little bitty golf cart. Can you see that? So don't tell my brother, but I made him this thank you note. And I'm gonna make his wife a pretty girly thank you note. I don't want her to get the same card. I wanna give her a new card because 
I love her and she's my sister-in-law by marriage, my sister by marriage. And I just wanted to share that with you that this, I make my cards and they truly are for a reason. Most of them have a little plan, if you will, that's uh, where they're going and who they're going to. Okay, I'm gonna adhere that down. The other thing I do, if you make a lot, a lot of cards, I've been giving them as gifts. I bundle up four to six of the cards either make a box for them or decorate a box or just tie a pretty bow on all four sides with some ribbon and now you've got a stationary set or a card set that you can give as a gift and i find boy cards nowadays are so expensive and ours when we make them by hand, and I'm including you in these comments when I say this, any of us that make handmade items, they're made with love, they're going to be better than a store-bought card. And you guys, you probably know this already, your friends will not throw these away. So this says enjoy, and this says I hope your day is a real treat. I wanted to stay with the dog theme. I just think Puppy is so cute. What do you think we should name him, you guys? What should we name Puppy here? He looks like the dog from Lady and the Tramp, don't you think? I wanna hand him a piece of spaghetti really bad, but I'll refrain. So look before we even glue it down how beautifully this little note card with plenty of space to burn slides in and out of the pocket, all right? So now we're ready. I wanna to continue to decorate the front. I'm gonna adhere the banner, if you will, down flat. Now, if you want to, you can come back before you tie this down. And of course, you would have had to put in joy up here. I would have. And we could l loop some ribbon around this. We could tie some twine around this. And that'd be cute as a button. But I decided not to do that with this particular card. Now I wanna share with you, this a little bit breaks that rule. I wanted this card to be more of a masculine card, maybe a masculine birthday card. So I tried to go more with blues, as you can see, but when you're making, a little tip, when you're making a masculine card, it's better to go with angles, squares, rectangles, and not round shapes. This die fit my doggy, so, it's not quite as angular as I'd like, but I chose not to do a circle like I did on the Christmas card. All right, so let me see. Make sure it opens in the right direction before you would hear this down. I've done that before. Oh, look, I'm doing it upside down. Okay, we just flip it around. I've done that before too. How, tell me in the comments if you've done that. It's not just me. But there's ways you can either, you can use, gosh, maybe a butter knife before this sets real good, your dry adhesive, slide a butter knife under it and gently, gently lift the glue. Now it might rip some of your paper, but for the most part, I can reposition this a little bitty bit with my, by removing it. Uh, yep. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. I think I am going to use about five of them. Oh, you know what I'm noticing? I did. I did use ribbon on this one. And this is a knot I made, like a faux bow, a fake bow. And I didn't tie it to this ribbon. I actually used a glue dot to adhere it down. So that being that, let me get all my little guys off. This two-sided adhesive, it's foam. I don't know if they're hexagons or octagons. Again, you have to tell me in the comments, little bitty bit raised. So, if you've never used these before, when you adhere it down, let me see, I want it, I want it off center, but not too far over. Let me best I can straighten him up doggy's got to act straight doesn't he all right so we're gonna adhere this part down and we're gonna add some bling and we're done what this is a simple card this is a beautiful beginner's card if you're new to card making fun folds I find and tell me if you do too fun folds 
provide high impact to the person that's receiving the card, yet it's simple to make. And I especially like to do simple cards because they're duplicatable, because I can make a lot in a little bit of time. Slip that right in the pocket. Close the front door and let's put some bling on. I was leaning towards the darker blue more than the lighter blue. I think if this was for a female, I would use lighter, but I think to make it a little more manly man, I'm going to use this, the darker. So let's see how much and where much we wanna put our bling. Sometimes if I get spots, that brush right off, I'll put bling on top of the spot if it's a glue mark or uh, some ink that maybe I smeared. Uh, that part's not fun, is it? I think I'll put that one there. Beautiful. How many of you, this is your first time watching my, one of my videos? Tell me, tell me. And you're gonna laugh. I can create a card, design a card, make a card, and when it comes to where am I gonna put my bling, I am a lost child. I can't remember to save my life. I can't think about it. I'm confused. I'm like, I don't know where to put it. Look at me. I'm all over the place. How about right there? So now I feel like it's a little bit all over. I do try to put it, definitely I use odd numbers. And a triangle is very appealing to the eye. So this is a lopsided triangle because I don't want it to be an obvious triangle. However, you can see how your eye just kind of gravitates. And I also tend to put them where I want to draw attention. So I want to draw attention to the sentiment and then draw attention to puppy. So I put, that one probably draws more attention, but actually they both do. What do you think? So here is the card, your fun fold. I hope you love it. You have the postcard base. You have the 12 inch long paper that we folded, cut, all that scored, all that good stuff, decorated. And then we've got the lovely little baby separate note card with plenty of room to write a sentiment, tuck some money or a gift card in there, sign your name, and the recipient is going to be thrilled, in my humble opinion. So I hope, hope, hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I, Okay, if that tips over, we'll both know it. That, as I have enjoyed making it for you, here's our little finished product. He's so precious. I'm gonna show it to you one more time in case somebody's joining us late. Fun fold, remember, if you would like the, a PDF tutorial uh, emailed to you, I will gladly send it to you. Just email me at dd createscrafts at gmail.com. I'll add you to my mailing list. You'll get a monthly mailing. You'll know when I'm going live. You'll be um, invited to the card kit class that I offer monthly. And uh, I'll send you the absolute directions how to make this happy little guy. And you just use whatever stamps you have. You decorate any way you want. All up to you, it's personalized. But use this fun fold as a sketch as a sample of making a card for yourself. Borrow, case, copy this idea, and then make this idea for yourself. I do wanna see your cards. When you make your cards, would you go over to Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest and please show me your cards. It makes my heart happy to see the cards that you're making, and especially when you use some of the techniques or samples or fun folds or cards that I designed for you. I love, love, love that. Remember, subscribe, and I'll see you next Friday. Same time, same station. Bye, you guys. Happy crafting.